We started this YouTube channel in the beginning of June, so already a few months ago, and we managed to monetize it in about three months. And now lately, every time we uploaded, there were like subscribers leaving, and we had uh, sometimes less than 100 views, and it was very surprising. We thought that just, you know, the, we're growing slowly but nicely, and now for over a week, we just lost subscribers every time we uploaded. And I started to get really frustrated and... Like it was one or two people leaving. No, I think it's over 10 people okay, in total. Okay, every day. Every, every day, day some people, yeah. But for me it's not subscriber, for me it's a person, it's a human, it's people, yeah. you know, leaving. For him it's numbers because he's more focused on the numbers and that's yeah, what makes... Yeah, of course, like, but I see, you know, the we still receive beautiful comments and yeah. people love to watch the videos that are watching it. Mm -hmm. It's just I feel like we have really wonderful messages in those videos and I look at the statistics and the analytics and I get frustrated sometimes. Mm. Why don't we have more? Why is it not recommended more often so more people can see it and receive the message? Because we really feel that they're important. And Petra was a little bit guiding me through this. First, first I want to say that uh, we... we like of course money is important in life of course it is important to have basic needs met you know we need to have roof over our head we need to have food we have to buy something pretty to, to us sometimes but numbers and and money is uh, also we still want more sometimes the mind is so much involved in this uh, that we forget about the heart and we just want more and more and more and that's very tricky for us but this was another story mm -hmm. yeah right now the youtube channel is monetized and we get maybe 30 cents per day you know it doesn't really make a difference for us but yeah of course we we want to grow it bigger and we are really putting pouring our heart in it and w want to make really wonderful and helpful videos for for the people and also we need to trust to the algorithm and just the time that we continue to do something it will naturally pick up when the time is right and it is a lot about the inner attitude that I have towards this and inner attitude is just say what you had a problem with so they understand I got you. frustrated with YouTube you know why is it not showing our videos more and I every time just saw people leaving and very little views but when we started we had zero views it's also yeah. like it's wonderful that we get 30 or 40 or 50 views on a yeah, video but you were having a trouble with this you know so yeah I was getting really emotional really mad about it usually before sleeping before going to bed so <laughs> we had to talk about it mm-hmm mm -hmm. And will you share what you told me? I think that YouTube and whatever project you're doing is like your child or like your animal. And uh, you can imagine a child or animal, it doesn't matter. But you can't only put demands on it. You can't only see, Expect. see only the performance issues, you know, the numbers. You can't always, like I said to Raphael, hey, are you treating the YouTube with love or are you just wanting some numbers from it? Like oh, constantly growing, constantly performing, constantly just giving more, more, you more. more and more and more. And imagine you want it from a child or imagine for you want it from you as you, you were a child. You were just resistant, you just stopped, you blocked the whole energy. You didn't want to do this because you want to be you. And now your YouTube channel, if it doesn't grow or whatever your project is and it doesn't grow or your health and, you know, healing doesn't move forward, maybe you want too much in a short time and it wants to live its own way, you know, it wants to be its own way. And I said to Raphael, hey, so start to perceive the YouTube and start to perceive the projects for you as your child, as your animal, which you don't want to only have for performance, like 
you know, like a, like some truck Bra which bring just home drives better grades yeah, and do yeah, better and yeah. do better and what you only have this because then it feels very frustrated. The child, the dog, the scared and still needs to perform and it's too much. You and know? it sounds funny because it's just an algorithm or it's just technology, yeah. but everything is, is affected by our energy. It is all like you s can call it spiritual and also we behave this way to us we want this from us and we have to learn how to approach our life and ourselves uh, with more love and mm -hmm. we have to also give to us a little bit time off and a little bit uh, gratitude you know mm -hmm. we have to be saying hey we are so grateful for every one of you watching this video we are so grateful that some people are just willing to listen to these messages and are spreading maybe better energy than in the world because that's what that's why we are doing it and we don't want numbers you know we don't want naming we don't want to name our videos with attractive titles just to attract more people but we have to do it. We have to do it We sometimes. have to really learn to make better titles because we know we can have an amazing video. Yeah. But if the title is like already the solution which you will get in the video, people think, all right, thanks, I don't need to watch it now. Yeah. If it doesn't spark some curiosity or some interest, people are not going to click on it and they will not receive the message. So, so we have to learn yeah. to make it really interesting and appealing and we have or to ask ourselves would we click on are it? we we would ask you what would you click on what kind of title speaks to you is it mysterious ones or is it like directly you know what you're clicking on and you want just to get what you click on or you want to be surprised and uh, you know because it's very important for us to name the videos correctly so you, because it's quite beneficial stuff we are processing something and it takes so long so much time and effort and if somebody can just watch the video and process it much quicker than us like um, we process some something in a week and you do it in a day or in a in an hour it's much better you know mm -hmm. this way we learn and grow together and we support and each other on yeah, our journey yeah mm -hmm. so we learn or especially Raphael learns to not be that strict to his child, you know, to mm -hmm. his project, because uh, his project then is going to be quite resistant uh, and it's going to not perform. It's going to more worry about the performance and be hiding in a corner somewhere, very scared. Yeah. What am I? I'm not performing according you are imagining but maybe there is some ground building underneath this all we don't know you know maybe people don't want to hear constantly different things which we talk about because that's what we want to do we don't want to talk only about manifesting why life is so rich and you can be inspired in so many ways and we want to inspire you and be with you all the time that's why we want to bring a lot of different topics which you things can use. Things that come up in our life. Yeah, yeah. Things that we learn on our journey yeah. so you can benefit from it too. Yeah. And I just wanted to say also about having the expectations when I, for example, would push our dog Luna in one direction, she would just push would against just me. This, she would always. just do this. Always. And, and then if, if, and if, if I push like from this side, she pushes on the yeah. other side. It's just pressure creates another pressure, yeah. you know. <laughs> Luna was really good in it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you let go and she just moves wherever you mm -hmm. want. And mm -hmm. was good. When she is ready and when the energy is ready, you know, when you just let go. And that's something I really need to learn. Yeah. And it's a, especially now with the YouTube, I, yeah. I feel it. We all have to learn it in certain areas of our life. We all have it. We all have this resistance in us towards something you know i'm not healing fast enough mm -hmm. I'm, you know i'm not having the relationship which i want right now because i am manifesting and creating and journaling about it so where is it you know and we become frustrated like Raphael became frustrated with the numbers and then he came to me before we went to bed and i'm like hey don't tell me these things you know it's just two people decide freely they don't want to be anymore our subscribers uh, it's like subscribe something underneath something right mm -hmm. like uh, what we call it the body with your body community yeah 
and uh, yeah so they don't want to it's their and will that's, you and know that's great yeah and uh, we also don't want to force anybody it's just uh, you know so we have to somehow find balance and also we know that we have to sell this to people because then they can discover us and also what does it mean energetically when i look at the analytics and i see it's not performing as i want to it means energetically that i am not living in the future where we have the success and the abundance that we are creating it means like by just saying that we have less subscribers that we don't have a lot of views um cancelling the creation and i need to be in the energy of already uh, having the nice amount of viewers and the nice amount of people in our community i need to own that energy mm -hmm. just knowing that it's there for us and for you and uh, for the highest good of all mm -hmm. that's why we do this that's why we want to share our videos because uh, what else to do in this planet than to just contribute to the highest good for everybody like what what is the reason you know why would we harm somebody or what is the reason anyways in this planet than to do just contribute with in some way mm -hmm. somebody mm -hmm. is a, lean, a cleaning lady somebody is uh, working at the cash desk and somebody and is a multi-billionaire and is uh, having a huge company that gives jobs and gives great products to people Mm. It's, uh, it doesn't mean that anything is more valuable than the other. Mm. And somebody just stays at home and takes care of kids. Yes. And that's all fine, mm -hmm. you know. And that's all for the highest good of all, because it's all c coming from the heart, from mm -hmm. love. Yeah. We discovered these ducks. They were in front of a restaurant. And they're like guardian ducks. You can hear how they're screaming. They were really funny. <laughs>